Good afternoon from Tanadice. It's first against last in the Cinch Championship this afternoon. United welcoming Jim McIntyre's Arbroath. Two Tanadice. Three positive wins for United against the Red Lift Day so far this season. And they make it a clean sweep against the Angus side. United with such a good run of form against Arbroath. They've only lost here at Tanadice once in the last 65 years against the Red Lift Days. That came in February 2020. Following that vital win at Capelo in midweek, Jim Goodwin makes two changes to the United starting lineup. Both players coming in, likely to patrol the wide areas. Glenn Middleton and Kai Fotheringham come into the starting lineup to replace Liam Grimshaw and Jordan Tilson, who dropped down to the bench. Our both boosted by ending a run of 10 games without a win in the Championship. That was against Race Rovers who were the league leaders going into that one. And they've done a United a favour with picking up the win against Wraith. United looking to do themselves a favour this afternoon by potentially extending their gap at the top of the table. Of the last 17 home matches here at Tannadice against Arbroath, they've won 13 and drawn three. Form book certainly suggests that United should be picking up the points this afternoon after three wins earlier in the season against the Red Lifties. Jim Goodwin's side do look to make it four out of four in the clean sweep across the season. It will be the home side United to kick off Coming towards the shed end in the first half. Swinger this time towards Fotheringham. Ted, uh, who nods it in. Well, it's off the knee, in fact, from Kai Fotheringham in the middle. Miller Thompson's corner. Declan Gallagher rising to win the first ball and just reacting as it came across was Kai Fodrium coming back into the side this afternoon having started on the bench in midweek Kai Fodrium makes it United 1 our growth nil How we started the game was really important this afternoon you know after a really good performance down in Greenock it was uh, you know really key that we didn't underestimate the Arbroath opposition today and uh, that's been the message in the build up to the game and full credit to the players I thought it was you know very professional from start to finish and it's called in outside of the right boot and it's Tony Watt who makes it two inside 14 minutes home side have a bit of a cushion it's United 2 Arbroath now the only one criticism I had at half time was you know we were all a bit frustrated that it was only 2-0 the only oh, game with goals in it, and there pass. could be a third here for United. Molt capitalises on the poor back pass and wastes the opportunity to make it three for United. While it is at 2-0, uh, the opposition are always in the game because the next goal is vital. And you know the message at half-time was get the next goal. If we do that, then it will t definitely uh, take the wind out of our sails, and that proved to be the case. Oh, two steps up right footed to curl one off the top of the crossbar. Oh, and Lyon slips as he tries to get it. It's Glenn Middleton through. One on one with Boric. Who makes a stop with his head. Following up, turns it back towards the area, and that's over the top. Oh, Muir blows the half time whistle. United go in with a two goal cushion in terms of the score line. Perhaps they will be disappointed, though, that they're not at least double that. We should have been 4 or 5 0 up at half time. Um, but the second half was really, really professional. You know, they didn't get complacent. Um, you know, there was no real sloppiness throughout, everybody doing their jobs diligently. I thought there was really good passages of play throughout the afternoon. When we moved the ball quickly, we're a, we're a hard team to play against. You know, the substitutes that came on added that little bit of freshness. They all made an impact. Oh, and Greaves nicked in. Alec Greaves through one on one. He's got Tony Watt with him. He squares it for Watt, who can't miss. Unselfish play from Alex Greaves to set up Tony Watt. And that surely will wrap up the points for United. And full credit to the all loan striker. He could so easily have tried to beat Boric one on one there. Tony Watt second the afternoon makes it United three, our both nil. As Grieve makes He's it through. on through, there's no flag. Alec Grieve from the angle. He gets his goal. Goal. And all the praise he had for being unselfish a moment before. Karma really comes his way. He gets the reward he deserves, Alex Grieve. Now it's Grieve off the mark in the United shirt. 63 minutes gone. United four are both nil. I love the unselfishness of when he's through one on one with the goalkeeper. He's desperate to get himself off the mark and get his first goal for Dundee United. And um, you know the fact that he's just willing to square that across the face for Tony to get a 
a tap in from six yards is what we're all about as a team. We're not bothered about individual honours, it's all about the group and, and Alex you know, summed that up there today. To go into the start of the final quarter with a, a really convincing victory like today um, will give the group a lot of confidence you know, and, and we're continuously trying to push the bar, um, we're not satisfied you know, at the moment, we have to treat, try and keep uh, getting more out of ourselves individually and for me to try and continue to get more out of the group is really important between now and the end of the season. Final score at Tanadice, it's finished, Dundee United 4 are both nil.